to this story now. Mkolisi Kaunda has promised to clean up Eteguini in his first 100 days in office. He was sworn in as the region's new mayor earlier this month. Now Kaunda is Guazul Natal's former transport MEC and was appointed after his predecessor, Zandi Lekumete, was forced to resign by the provincial ANC. Well, service delivery and cleaning up the inner city are at the top of his agenda. Well, Kaunda joins us from our Durban studios now to discuss his plans. Mr. Mr. Mayor, uh, congratulations to you, but you inherit a city that many have said is on its knees and perhaps should be placed under administration. Do you agree with those sentiments? Thank you very much, Goli, for having us in your program and uh, good morning to your viewers as well. Uh, indeed, you've been given a clear mandate by the African National Congress, especially to deliver on clean uh, and good governance uh, to ensure that uh, when we deliver services to our people, we look at the impact that those services are making and the quality assurance uh, to ascertain that our customers are satisfied. Part of what we'll be dealing with uh, in these few uh, hundred days that we have uh, as a start-up will be ensuring that we clean our city, uh, calling upon all our residents to partake in this program uh, to ascertain that uh, in areas where we still have illegal dumping, uh, we actually address that by deploying uh, adequate personnel to deal with that particular issue, as well as ensuring that uh, we also educate our people not to dump anywhere, everywhere, uh, so that we are able to clean and make our city the city that has been uh, having many accolades uh, from international up to domestic uh, uh, practices. Mr. Mayor. So therefore... Uh, moving forward, uh, we have planned also to declare a month uh, to ensure each and every month we'll be having a day where we massify the cleaning, especially attending to areas where there have been a lot of complaints because we need to be responsive as, as the municipality to those areas. Uh, Mr. Mayor, in, in simple terms, sir, what is the state of that city right now? Just one line, one sentence. Yes, we still, we still remain a city with a solid uh, foundation because we are still a preferred uh, tourist and investment destination. We are still the host of major events uh, in, in the country and internationally. So therefore, our status still remains there. But we need to build and instill the culture of ensuring that at least uh, with what we have, uh, resources which are at our disposal, we actually respond to the needs of our people. And to ensure that uh, dealing with the issues of electricity and water, we are also responding and maintaining our 48 hours response uh, turnaround time mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, our people, and we improve on that, to ensure that our people, whenever they lodge uh, complaints, we become more responsive to those complaints. But we'll also be dealing with the issue which has uh, placed us in a very bad uh, picture uh, in terms of the bad buildings, uh, dilapidated buildings in the, in the city. Uh, very soon we'll be launching part of our interventions uh, to ensure that we actually deal with that uh, in enforcing uh, the, the bylaws and also the building regulations uh, to ascertain that the buildings which are there in the city, they portray a right. good image of our city as we have been attaining a lot of awards in that regard. Mr. Mayor, let me perhaps uh, end our conversation with this question then because you clearly won't answer my question about whether or not your city is in crisis. What are you going to do with your municipal manager? The DA has laid charges against him yesterday. We already know that he is he's turned state witness on a case that involves the former mayor. What are you going to do with him? We are working with him. Uh, we found him there. We'll be working with him, but we'll be assessing how we are performing as the municipality and all senior managers and, and, and the heads of departments because we want to build an institution which will be representing South Africa internationally and uh, maintain the good image of the city. So therefore, uh, the issues on ensuring that uh, uh, what we call uh, consequence management get applied whenever people have not done well because we are, we are still struggling with the issues of irregular expenditure, which we must clean and uh, take them away from our books because we must attain at least the clean audit. So those are the issues that will be 
paying more attention on to a certain that our city uh, remain the city uh, that is trusted by, the, by its people. But we'll also be entrenching ourselves by conducting what we call Operation Sugumasake uh, visits to all communities because it's not the people that must look for government, but the government must be entrenched and be with the people where they are. Mm -hmm. So therefore, through Operation Sugumasake, each and every month we'll be visiting zones uh, with a number of wards in those particular zones to look at the issues of service delivery, the quality assurance, uh, ensuring that our people, they get the service right. that they deserve. Mr. Mayor, I thank you very much for your time. That's a newly appointed mayor of uh, Etegwini, Golisi, Kaunda.